we're gonna go over the sine scale or the S scale. So if I take out this center piece, all the trigonometry scales are right here in the middle. So we've got S and SRT, which deal with sines. So just an overview of the S scale it goes from 5.7 up to 90 on the right side. Have you seen in previous videos, we always get a product on the C and D scales. So wherever that product is, let's say it's on three, you can look up on the S scale, it'll give you the sine degrees. Three on the D scale, we're gonna get 17.5 on the S scale. And you can do it backwards too. So if you set the hairline to 20 degrees, then you look down on the D scale and you're at 0.342, sine 20 degrees, 0.342. Now another thing you'll use eventually is the SRT scale. That's sines two, but it's with anything smaller than 5.7, because as we know, no, S starts at 5.7. SRT starts at 0.57 and goes up to 5.7 on the other side. And really all this means is if you've got an angle that's, you know, under 5.7, you're just going to add another space after the decimal point on the D scale. So if we were on the S scale at 25, well, below it, we would know that's 0.42. So sine 25, 0.42. But let's say we're up on the ST scale and we're at 2.5. So that's smaller than 5.7. So we're going to put another zero after the decimal. So that would come out to 0 0.0436. So sine 2.5, 0 0.0436. So that's the basic overview of the S scales and the SRT scales. And if you watch any of the other practice videos I've got, you'll see how those are used practically.